Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about harm reduction. My name is Donna Edwards. I'm a certified addiction treatment counselor number four. So harm reduction is critical to keeping people who use drugs alive and as healthy as possible and is a key pillar to the multifaceted health and human services overdose prevention strategy. Harm reduction is an approach that emphasizes engaging directly with people who use drugs to prevent overdose and infectious disease transmission, improve the physical, mental, and social well-being of those served, and offer low excuse me, offer low threshold options for accessing substance use disorder, treatments and other healthcare services. Harm reduction is an important part of the biden Harris administration's comprehensive approach to addressing substance use disorders through prevention, treatments and recovery for individuals who use substances set their own goals. Harm reduction organizations incorporate a spectrum of strategies that meet people where they are on their own terms and may serve as a pathway to additional prevention, treatments, and recovery services. Harm reduction works by addressing a broader health and social issues through improved policies, programs, and practices. The U.S. is experiencing the most significant substance use and overdose epidemic it has ever faced, exacerbated by a whole wide pandemic and driven by the proliferation of highly potent synthetic opiates containing primarily fentanyl and other analogs. Provisional data from the CDC show that we have crossed the tragic milestone of a prediction, <coughs> excuse me, 100,000 overdose deaths in 12 months from May 2020 to April 2021. This represents a nearly 29% increase compared to the same window of time last year. Harm reduction services save lives by being available and accessible in a matter that emphasizes the need for humility and compassion toward people who use drugs. Harm reduction plays a significant role in preventing drug-related deaths and offering access to healthcare, social services, and treatment. These services decrease overdose fatalities, acute life-threatening infections related to <clears throat> unsterile drug injection, and chronic disease such as HIV and HCV. This program supports community-based overdose prevention programs, syringe services, programs and other harm reduction services. A comprehensive prevention strategy, harm reduction is part of a continuum of care. Harm reduction approaches have proven to prevent death, injury, disease, overdose, and substance misuse. Harm reduction is effective in addressing the public health epidemic involving substance use as well as infectious disease and other harms associated with drug use. Specifically, harm reduction services can connect individuals to overdose education, counseling, and referral to treatment for infectious diseases and substance use disorders, distribute opiate overdose reversal medications, such as naloxone to individuals at risk of overdose or 
to those who might respond to an overdose, lessen harms associated with drug use and related behaviors that increase the risk of infectious diseases, including HIV, viral hepatitis, and bacterial and fungal infections. Reduce infectious diseases, transmissions among people who use drugs, including those who inject drugs by equipping them with accurate information and facilitating referral to resources. Reduce overdose deaths, promote linkage to care, facilitates co-location of services as part of a comprehensive integrated approach, reduce stigma associated with substance use and co-occurring disorders, promote a philosophy of hope and healing by utilizing those with who have lived with experiences of recovery in management of harm reduction services and connecting those who have expressed interest to treatment, peer support workers and other recovery support services. SAMHSA has awarded 25 grants for the first ever SAMHSA Harm Reduction Grant Program. This funding authorized by American Resource, by the American Rescue Plan will help increase access to range of a community of a community, excuse me, harm reduction services and support harm reduction service providers as they work to help prevent overdose deaths and reduce health risks often associated with drug use. SAMHSA accepted applications from state, local, tribal, and territorial governments, tribal organizations, nonprofit community-based organizations, and primary and behavioral health organizations. SAMHSA will distribute 10 million between 2022 and 2025. Grant recipients receiving federal funding must adhere to applicable federal, state, and local laws, regulations, and other requirements as specified in federal grant terms and conditions of award. Other SAMHSA grants may offer <clears throat> support harm reduction activities. The following harm reduction services supplies are allowable costs that may be covered with certain SAMHSA funds. Overdose reversal education and training services, navigation services to ensure linkage to HIV and viral hepatitis prevention, testing, treatment and care services, including antiviral therapy for HCV and HIV, free exposure, prophallus, post-exposure, prevention of mother to child transmission and partner services, referral to hepatitis A and hepatitis B vaccinations to reduce risk of viral hepatitis infections, provisions of education on HIV and viral hepatitis prevention, testing and referral to treatment services. Overdose reversal supplies, including the purchase of naloxone kits. This may include syringes for the purpose of administering injectable naloxone only. Subst substance test kits, including fentanyl strips, safer sex kits, including condoms, sharps disposals and medication disposal kits, wound care supplies, medication lock boxes, Supplies to promote sterile injection and reduce infectious disease, transmission through injection drug use, exclusive of sterile needles, syringes, and other drug paraphernalia, 
Safer smoking kits to reduce infectious disease transmission, excluding pipes and pipettes and other drug paraphernalia. FDA approved home testing kits for viral hepatitis such as HBV and HCV and HIV. Written educational material on safer injection practices and HIV and viral hepatitis and prevention testing, treatment, and care service dis distribution mechanisms <clears throat> such as bags for naloxone or safer sex kits, metal boxes, containers for holding naloxone or harm reduction supplies, including stock as otherwise described and de detailed on this list. SAMHSA is also collaborating with the CDC on their National Harm Reduction Technical Assistance Center to provide a comprehensive approach to harm reduction through syringe services programs, SSPs, and to improve access to prevention and intervention services to prevent infectious disease consequences of drug use. Going beyond education and technical assistance efforts related to needle exchange, SAMHSA's support of CDC's existing National Harm Reduction Technical Assistance, TA, Center, will enable the center to also address a variety of other individual and community factors related to harm reduction, such as, for example, naloxone distribution and administration, safer sex kits, HIV and viral hepatitis testing, COVID-19 response, community stigma, and opportunities for collaboration between harm reduction and other community efforts, such as peer delivered recovery support efforts. Through the collaboration with SAMHSA, the TA Center will support efforts to expand capacity, increase effectiveness, and strengthen the performance and accountability of harm reduction services. This will be done within a comprehensive prevention strategy at the state and community levels and will provide technical assistance and consultation services to support implementation of effective evidence-based harm reduction programs, practices, and policies in diverse settings. Here are some additional resources. <clears throat> 